Are you still comfortable, my dear? We are not going too fast, right? Is this path jostling you around too much? We could go back and tweak the suspension to make it a smoother ride. Actually, these cobblestones could be quite a hazard. Perhaps I could have them replaced before someone gets hurt. Hmm? <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. I was distracted for a moment. What did you want to tell me? <laughs> Stop fussing. <laughs> I'm not fussing. You expected a desire to get outside and away from the hospital environment, and I'm simply trying to assure you have a pleasant but safe experience. You are still very delicate, my dear, and we must minimize the risk of everything that could do you harm. I'm still uneasy about you being out of the positive pressure room, but your mental well-being is very important. Oh, we need to go left here. <laughs> Patience, my dear. We'll be there shortly. I promised to take you somewhere special, didn't I? Huh. Unless, of course, you want to go back. Are you feeling okay? It's a little cool, but here. Are you cold, dear? Uh, my jacket. One moment. I'll drape it around your shoulder. Hmm? <laughs> yes, alright. Point taken. <sighs> Gods, their fingertips are so soft. <clears throat> Shall we press on? We're almost there. I must say, my dear, you have adapted yourself without vocalizing remarkably well. Though I am still confident the damage to your vocal cords will heal in time, and you will recover your voice with time and therapy. Ah, we arrived. I'll just navigate you around this bush here. And turn you around. Voila! My dear, I present to you my island. <laughs> there are many idyllic spots around, but this is by far my favourite. You can see almost everything around here. You see the path we came along, snaking up the bluff. Did you realize how much levitation we were gaining as we made our way here? <laughs> it can sneak up on you if you're not paying attention. The topography of this island is courtesy of it being very isolated. Long extinct volcano. It's one of a series of volcanic islands, like those of Hawaii. Galapagos. However, unlike those, it is the only island in the chain that can extend well above sea level. The older submerged sea mounts lie in the northeast. On a clear day when the solar and lunar tide cycle align, you can see one or two of them from here peeping up above the waves. This island is designed to join its brothers under the sea, but that won't be for a very long time after you and I have departed from this world. Oh no, I had 
to frequently bring up deathly and mortality like that after my dearest shared the trauma. What was I thinking? Um, oh, see how the beach is located in the natural harbour? It's fantastic for swimming, surfing, kayaking, all matters of activities really. And there are caves around it, some produced by erosion from the waves, and others that are old lava tunnels. There are stunning speleothems in the largest one. Its stalactites are near three meters long in places. I'll have to show you sometime. Uh, they don't look happy. Did my earlier comment throw them off? Uh, got to change the subject. Come on, change the subject. <coughs> Do you like birds, dear? There are some adorable little puffins nests in the sea cliffs on the far side of the island. They are fascinating creatures. Did you know that their flippers and bill are only brightly coloured for the mating season? They are somewhat duller the rest of the year. I find that particularly interesting as they are quite monogamous. <laughs> most return to their mate year after year. So unlike most birds who plumage functions to attract their mate, puffins continue to dress up for their beloved as if to express their continued respect for and ongoing commitment to them. Don't you think that's sweet? <laughs> Threatened by thunderstorms? Yes, well, the island is quite exposed, and though we are expected blessed conditions for as long as you have been here, dear, we are hammered by some almighty storms from time to time. But the cliffs have lots of cavities, and so the puffins can build their nests quite deeply inside and shelter from the elements. Oh, you meant my infrastructure. <laughs> no need to worry, my dear. Everything is built to withstand the forces of nature can throw at us many times over. Do you see the fences around the orchard and the vanguard down there? <laughs> they house retractable shields that protect the fruit as needed. The rich volcanic soil makes for divinely testing crops and it simply wouldn't do to allow a mere storm to ruin a harvest. Over there? <laughs> That's the new mega greenhouse under construction. There are a number of exotic species I require, but I won't have them interfering with the island's biota. A few of my staff also have green thumbs, and so I designed the structure to be able to give each of them their own area to do with as they please. <laughs> Higgins has long bemoaned being unable to procure quality strawberries and I must say I am keen to sample the daiquiri he's been describing. I think he also mentioned something about having his grandmother's famous strawberry shortcake recipe. Anyway, each area in the greenhouse will have its own climate control, so people should be able to grow whatever they want without issue. Yes, my dear? What large warehouse? Are you referring to the building with the low pitched roof covered in solar panels? That's the pool complex. It houses a range of baths, 
lap pools, saunas and steam rooms. There is a small hypotherapy pool in the hospital wing, but you'll move into the larger pools when your recovery is further along. <laughs> the complex is mainly solar powered, although the wave energy converts deployed along the western shore covers the odd shortfall when there's not enough sun. You can't quite see those from here, but we could go see them another day, if you are interested. There's also a wide turbine at the top of the bluff that generates power. I don't know if you noticed it on the way up. This island is completely powered by renewable energy. Hmm. There's more of a chill in the air now. I think it's best we go back inside the air. I'm not saying we have to return to your room just yet, though I am wary of you becoming fatigued. If you like, we could tour some of the facilities, but I am putting my foot down in that we are going indoors. I will override the controls I gave you for the chair if you need it, dear. <sighs> I'm glad you understand. Is there anywhere you'd like to go? I'm afraid the construction site is still open to the elements. So, let's have to wait for another day. Anywhere else? The pool complex? Ah yes. Let's go there. Part of it is modelled on natural hot springs, with cascading silica terraces hosting pools of different temperatures. It's a very relaxing space. I'm sure you'll love it. <laughs>